Angela Merkel, Wikipedia article audio. Angela Dorothea Merkel, née Kastner, born July 17, 1954 is a German politician serving as Chancellor of Germany since 2005 and leader of the center-right Christian Democratic Union since 2000. Merkel has been widely described as the de facto leader of the European Union, the most powerful woman in the world, and the leader of the free world. Merkel was born in Hamburg in then West Germany and moved to East Germany as an infant when her father, a Lutheran clergyman, received a pastorate in Pearlberg. She obtained a doctorate in quantum chemistry in 1986 and worked as a research scientist until 1989. Merkel entered politics in the wake of the revolutions of 1989, and briefly served as a deputy spokesperson for the first democratically elected East German government headed by Lothar de Maizière in 1990. Following German reunification in 1990, Merkel was elected to the Bundestag for the state of Mecklenburg-Vorpommern, and has been re-elected ever since. As the protégé of Chancellor Helmut Kohl, Merkel was appointed as the Federal Minister for Women and Youth in Kohl's government in 1991, and became the Federal Minister for the Environment, Nature Conservation and Nuclear Safety in 1994. After her party lost the federal election in 1998, Merkel was elected secretary-general of the CDU before becoming the party's first female leader two years later in the aftermath of a donations scandal that toppled Wolfgang Schauble. Background and Early Life Early Political Career Following the 2005 federal election, Merkel was appointed Germany's first female chancellor at the head of a grand coalition consisting of the CDU, its Bavarian sister party, the Christian Social Union, and the Social Democratic Party of Germany. In the 2009 federal election, the CDU obtained the largest share of the vote and Merkel was able to form a coalition government with the Free Democratic Party. At the 2013 federal election, Merkel's CDU won a landslide victory with 41.5% of the vote and formed a second grand coalition with the SPD, after the FDP lost all of its representation in the Bundestag. In the 2017 federal election the CDU again became the largest party, and she was re-elected to her fourth term on March 14, 2018. In 2007, Merkel was president of the European Council and played a central role in the negotiation of the Treaty of Lisbon and the Berlin Declaration. One of Merkel's consistent priorities has been to strengthen transatlantic economic relations. Merkel played a crucial role in managing the financial crisis at the European and international level, and she has been referred to as the decider. In domestic policy, health care reform, problems concerning future energy development and more recently her government's approach to the ongoing migrant crisis have been major issues during her chancellorship. On March 26, 2014, Merkel became the longest-serving incumbent head of government in the European Union and she is currently the senior G7 leader. Revolution of 1989 Coal Administration Leader of the Christian Democratic Union Leader of the Opposition First Ministry and Term Second Ministry and Term 2005 National Election Third Ministry and Term Fourth Ministry and Term Merkel was born Angela Dorothea Kastner in 1954, in Hamburg, West Germany, the daughter of Horst Kastner, a Lutheran pastor and a native of Berlin, and his wife Herland, born in 1928 in Danzig, a teacher of English and Latin. 
She has two younger siblings, Marcus Kastner, a physicist, and Irene Kastner, an occupational therapist. In her childhood and youth, Merkel was known among her peers by the nickname Kasi, derived from her last name Kastner. Chancellor of Germany Merkel is of German and Polish descent. Her paternal grandfather, Ludwig Kosmierczak, was a German policeman of Polish ethnicity, who had taken part in Poland's struggle for independence in the early 20th century. He married Merkel's grandmother Margarethi, a German from Berlin, and relocated to her hometown where he worked in the police. In 1930, they Germanized the Polish name Kosmierczak to Kastner. Merkel's maternal grandparents were the Danzig politician Willy Gensch, and Gertrude Almanay Drange, a daughter of the city clerk of Elbing Emil Drange. Merkel has mentioned her Polish heritage on several occasions, but her Polish roots became better known as a result of a 2013 biography. Domestic Policy Religion played a key role in the Kastner family's migration from West Germany to East Germany. Merkel's paternal grandfather was originally Catholic but the entire family converted to Lutheranism during the childhood of her father, who later studied Lutheran theology in Heidelberg and Hamburg. In 1954, when Angela was just three months old, her father received a pastorate at the church in Quitzau which was then in East Germany. The family moved to Templin and Merkel grew up in the countryside 90 kilometers north of East Berlin. Immigration In 1968, Merkel joined the Free German Youth, the official communist youth movement sponsored by the ruling Marxist-Leninist Socialist Unity Party of Germany. Membership was nominally voluntary, but those who did not join found it difficult to gain admission to higher education. She did not participate in the secular coming-of-age ceremony Jujendwaihi, however, which was common in East Germany. Instead, she was confirmed. During this time, she participated in several compulsory courses on Marxism-Leninism with her grades only being regarded as sufficient. Later, at the Academy of Sciences, she became a member of its FDJ Secretariat. According to her former colleagues, she openly propagated Marxism as the secretary for agitation and propaganda. However, Merkel has denied this claim and stated that she was secretary for culture, which involved activities like obtaining theater tickets and organizing talks by visiting Soviet authors. She stated I can only rely on my memory, if something turns out to be different, I can live with that. Refugee and Migration Policy At school, she learned to speak Russian fluently, and was awarded prizes for her proficiency in Russian and mathematics. Merkel was educated at Karl Marx University, Leipzig, where she studied physics from 1973 to 1978. While a student, she participated in the reconstruction of the ruin of the Moritz Bastille, a project students initiated to create their own club and recreation facility on campus. Such an initiative was unprecedented in the GDR of that period and initially resisted by the university, however, with backing of the local leadership of the said party, the project was allowed to proceed. Near the end of her studies, Merkel sought an assistant professorship at an engineering school. As a condition for getting the job, Merkel was told she would need to agree to report on her colleagues to officers of the Ministry for State Security. Merkel declined, using the excuse that she could not keep secrets well enough to be an effective spy. 
Merkel worked and studied at the Central Institute for Physical Chemistry of the Academy of Sciences in Berlin Adlershof from 1978 to 1990. After being awarded a doctorate for her thesis on quantum chemistry in 1986, she worked as a researcher and published several papers. In 1986 she was able to travel freely to West Germany to participate at a congress, she also participated in a multi-week language course in Donetsk. The fall of the Berlin Wall served as the catalyst for Merkel's political career. Although she did not participate in the crowd celebrations the night the wall came down, one month later Merkel became involved in the growing democracy movement, joining the new party Democratic Awakening. Following the first multi-party election in East Germany, she became the deputy spokesperson of the new pre-unification caretaker government under Lothar de Maizière. Merkel had impressed de Maizière with her adept dealing with journalists questioning the role of a party leader, Wolfgang Schnur, as a secret informant for police. In April 1990, the Democratic Awakening merged with the East German CDU, which in turn merged with its Western counterpart after reunification. Merkel stood for election at the 1990 federal election, the first since reunification, and was elected to the Bundestag for the constituency of Stralsund Nord Vorpommern Ruggen, which is in the district of Vorpommern Ruggen. She has won re election for this constituency at the six federal elections since. After her first election, she was almost immediately appointed to the cabinet, serving as Minister for Women and Youth under Chancellor Helmut Kohl. In 1994, she was promoted to becoming Minister for the Environment and Nuclear Safety, which gave her greater political visibility and a platform from which to build her political career. As one of Kohl's protégés and his youngest cabinet minister, she was frequently referred to by Kohl as Main Madchen. After the Kohl government was defeated at the 1998 election, Merkel was appointed Secretary General of the CDU, a key position as the party was no longer part of the federal government. Merkel oversaw a string of CDU election victories in six out of seven state elections in 1999 breaking the long-standing SPD green hold on the Bundesrat. Following a party funding scandal that compromised many leading figures of the CDU including Kohl himself and his successor as CDU leader, Wolfgang Schauble Merkel criticized her former mentor publicly and advocated a fresh start for the party without him. She was subsequently elected to replace Schauble, becoming the first female leader of a German party on April 10, 2000. Her election surprised many observers, as her personality offered a contrast to the party she had been elected to lead, Merkel is a centrist Protestant originating from predominantly Protestant northern Germany, while the CDU is a male-dominated, socially conservative party with strongholds in western and southern Germany and its Bavarian sister party, the CSU, has deep Catholic roots. Foreign Policy Following Merkel's election as CDU leader, the CDU was not able to win in subsequent state elections. As early as February 2001 her rival Friedrich Merz had made clear he intended to become Chancellor Gerhard Schroeder as main challenger in the 2002 election. Merkel's own ambition to become Chancellor was well known, but she lacked the support of most minister-presidents and other grandees within her own party. She was subsequently outmaneuvered politically by CSU leader Edmund Stoiber to whom she eventually ceded the privilege of challenging Schroeder. He went on to squander a large lead in opinion polls to lose the election by a razor-thin margin in an election campaign that was dominated by the Iraq War. 
While Chancellor Schroeder made clear he would join the war in Iraq, Merkel and the CDU-CSU supported the invasion of Iraq. After Stoiber's defeat in 2002, in addition to her role as CDU leader, Merkel became leader of the opposition in the Bundestag, Friedrich Merz, who had held the post prior to the 2002 election, was eased out to make way for Merkel. Eurozone Crisis Merkel supported a substantial reform agenda for Germany's economic and social system, and was considered more pro-market than her own party. She advocated German labor law changes, specifically removing barriers to laying off employees and increasing the allowed number of work hours in a week. She argued that existing laws made the country less competitive, because companies could not easily control labor costs when business is slow. Early Life, Democratic Awakening, 1990 East German Election, German Reunification Merkel argued that Germany should phase out nuclear power less quickly than the Schroeder administration had planned. Merkel advocated a strong transatlantic partnership and German-American friendship. In the spring of 2003, defying strong public opposition, Merkel came out in favor of the U.S. invasion of Iraq, describing it as unavoidable and accusing Chancellor Gerhard Schroeder of anti-Americanism. She criticized the government's support for the accession of Turkey to the European Union and favored a privileged partnership instead. In doing so, she reflected public opinion that grew more hostile toward Turkish membership of the European Union. Minister for Women and Youth, Minister for the Environment On May 30, 2005, Merkel won the CDU-CSU nomination as challenger to Chancellor Gerhard Schroeder of the SPD in the 2005 national elections. Her party began the campaign with a 21-point lead over the SPD in national opinion polls although her personal popularity lagged behind that of the incumbent. However, the CDU-CSU campaign suffered when Merkel, having made economic competence central to the CDU's platform, confused gross and net income twice during a televised debate. She regained some momentum after she announced that she would appoint Paul Kirchhoff a former judge at the German Constitutional Court and leading fiscal policy expert, as Minister of Finance. Social Expenditure Cabinets Approval Ratings International Status Merkel and the CDU lost ground after Kirchhoff proposed the introduction of a flat tax in Germany again undermining the party's broad appeal on economic affairs and convincing many voters that the CDU's platform of deregulation was designed to benefit only the rich. This was compounded by Merkel's proposal to increase VAT to reduce Germany's deficit and fill the gap in revenue from a flat tax. The SPD were able to increase their support simply by pledging not to introduce flat taxes or increase VAT. Although Merkel's standing recovered after she distanced herself from Kirchhoff's proposals, she remained considerably less popular than Schroeder, and the CDU's lead was down to 9% on the eve of the election. Tenure, CDU Donations Scandal, 2002 Election, Leader of the Opposition On the eve of the election, Merkel was still favored to win a decisive victory based on opinion polls. On September 18, 2005, Merkel's CDU-CSU and Schroeder's SPD went head-to-head -head in the national elections, with the CDU-CSU winning 35.2% of the second votes to the SPD's 34.2%. The result was so close. Both Schroeder and Merkel claimed victory. 
neither the SPD Green Coalition nor the CDU slash CSU and its preferred coalition partners, the Free Democratic Party, held enough seats to form a majority in the Bundestag. A grand coalition between the CDU slash CSU and SPD faced the challenge that both parties demanded the chancellorship. However, after three weeks of negotiations, the two parties reached a deal whereby Merkel would become Chancellor and the SPD would hold eight of the 16 seats in the cabinet. On November 22, 2005, Merkel assumed the office of Chancellor of Germany following a stalemate election that resulted in a grand coalition with the SPD. The coalition deal was approved by both parties at party conferences on November 14, 2005. Merkel was elected chancellor by the majority of delegates in the newly assembled Bundestag on November 22, 2005, but 51 members of the governing coalition voted against her. Reports at the time indicated that the Grand Coalition would pursue a mix of policies, some of which differed from Merkel's political platform as leader of the opposition and candidate for chancellor. The coalition's intent was to cut public spending whilst increasing VAT, social insurance contributions and the top rate of income tax. 2005 election, first Merkel cabinet, EU Council presidency, 33 RDG8 summit, Treaty of Lisbon, Berlin Declaration, Financial Crisis, Stimulus Plan, 2009 Presidential Election When announcing the coalition agreement, Merkel stated that the main aim of her government would be to reduce unemployment, and that it was this issue on which her government would be judged. Her party was re-elected in 2009 with an increased number of seats, and could form a governing coalition with the FDP. This term was overshadowed by the European debt crisis. Conscription in Germany was abolished and the Bundeswehr became a volunteer military. Unemployment sank below the mark of 3 million unemployed people. In the election of September 2013 the CDU-CSU parties emerged as winners but formed another grand coalition with the SPD due to the FDP's failure to obtain the minimum of 5% of votes required to enter Parliament. Personal Life In the 2017 election, Merkel led her party to victory for the fourth time. Both CDU-CSU and SPD received a significantly lower proportion of the vote than they did in the 2013 election, and attempted to form a coalition with the FDP and Greens. The collapse of these talks led to stalemate. The German president Frank Walter Steinmeier appealed to the SPD to change their hard stance and to consider a third grand coalition with the CDU-CSU. In October 2010, Merkel told a meeting of younger members of her conservative Christian Democratic Union Party at Potsdam that attempts to build a multicultural society in Germany had utterly failed, stating that, the concept that we are now living side by side and are happy about it does not work and we feel attached to the Christian concept of mankind, that is what defines us. Anyone who doesn't accept that is in the wrong place here. She continued to say that immigrants should integrate and adopt Germany's culture and values. This has added to a growing debate within Germany on the levels of immigration, its effect on Germany and the degree to which Muslim immigrants have integrated into German society. In the wake of the 2015 European migrant crisis, the number of people coming from African nations as well as from the Middle East, particularly Syria, rose significantly and Merkel pledged to give general refuge to Syrians in Germany fleeing from the civil war subsequently discontinuing the enforcement of EU regulations for asylum seekers. Religion 
Ancestry Honors and Awards Merkel's foreign policy has focused on strengthening European cooperation and international trade agreements. Merkel has been widely described as the de facto leader of the European Union throughout her tenure as Chancellor. One of Merkel's priorities was strengthening transatlantic economic relations. She signed the agreement for the Transatlantic Economic Council on April 30, 2007 at the White House. Merkel enjoyed good relations with former U.S. Presidents George W. Bush and Barack Obama. Obama described her in 2016 as his closest international partner throughout his tenure as president. On September 25, 2007, Merkel met the 14th Dalai Lama for private and informal talks in the Chancellery in Berlin amid protest from China. China afterwards cancelled separate talks with German officials, including talks with Justice Minister Bridget Zipries. In 2006 Merkel expressed concern about over-reliance on Russian energy, but she received little support from others in Berlin. Merkel favours the association agreement between Ukraine and the European Union, but stated in December 2012 that its implementation depends on reforms in Ukraine. Honours In recognition of the importance of China to the German economy, by 2014 Merkel had led seven trade delegations to China since assuming office in 2005. The same year, in March, China's President Xi Jinping visited Germany. In 2015, with the absence of Stephen Harper, Merkel became the only leader to have attended every G20 meeting since the very first in 2008, having been present at a record 11 summits as of 2016. She hosted the 12th meeting at the 2017 G20 Hamburg Summit. In June 2017, Merkel criticized the draft of new U.S. sanctions against Russia that target EU-Russia energy projects, including Nord Stream 2 gas pipeline. Following major falls in worldwide stock markets in September 2008, the German government stepped in to assist the mortgage company Hypo Real Estate with a bailout, which was agreed on October 6, with German banks to contribute €30 billion Euros and the Bundesbank €20 billion Euros to a credit line. On October 4, 2008, a Saturday, following the Irish government's decision to guarantee all deposits in private savings accounts, a move she strongly criticised, Merkel said there were no plans for the German government to do the same. The following day, Merkel stated that the government would guarantee private savings account deposits, after all. However, two days later, on October 6, 2008, it emerged that the pledge was simply a political move that would not be backed by legislation. Other European governments eventually either raised the limits or promised to guarantee savings in full. At the World Economic Forum in Davos, 2013, she said that Europe had only 7% of the global population and produced only 25% of the global GDP, but that it accounted for almost 50% of global social expenditure. She went on to say that Europe could only maintain its prosperity by being innovative and measuring itself against the best. Since then, this comparison has become a central element in major speeches. The international financial press has widely commented on her thesis, with The Economist saying that If MRS Merkel's vision is pragmatic, so too is her plan for implementing it. It can be boiled down to three statistics, a few charts and some facts on an A4 sheet of paper. The three figures are 7%, 25%, and 
MRS Merkel never tires of saying that Europe has 7% of the world's population, 25% of its GDP and 50% of its social spending. If the region is to prosper in competition with emerging countries, it cannot continue to be so generous. Adding that, she produces graphs of unit labor costs, at EU meetings in much the same way that the late Margaret Thatcher used to pull passages from Friedrich Hayek S. Road to serfdom from her handbag. The Financial Times commented. National Honours Foreign Honours Although Ms Merkel stopped short of suggesting that a ceiling on social spending might be one yardstick for measuring competitiveness, she hinted as much in the light of soaring social spending in the face of an aging population. The first cabinet of Angela Merkel was sworn in at 1600 hours set on November 22, 2005. On October 31, 2005, after the defeat of his favoured candidate for the position of Secretary-General of the SPD, Franz Muntefering indicated that he would resign as party chairman, which he did in November. Ostensibly responding to this, Edmund Stoiber, who was originally nominated as Minister for Economics and Technology, announced his withdrawal on November 1, 2005. While this was initially seen as a blow to Merkel's attempt at forming a viable coalition, the manner in which Stoiber withdrew earned him much ridicule and severely undermined his position as a Merkel rival. Separate conferences of the CDU, CSU and SPD approved the proposed cabinet on November 14, 2005. The second cabinet of Angela Merkel was sworn in on October 28, 2009. Honorary Degrees In 2013, Merkel won one of the most decisive victories in German history achieving the best result for the CDU-CSU since reunification and coming within five seats of the first absolute majority in the Bundestag since 1957. However, with their preferred coalition partner, the FDP, failing to enter parliament for the first time since 1949, the CDU-CSU turned to the SPD to form the third grand coalition in post-war German history and the second under Merkel's leadership. The third cabinet of Angela Merkel was sworn in on December 17, 2013. Awards Comparisons Controversies In the Arts and Media Notes Midway through her second term, Merkel's approval plummeted in Germany, resulting in heavy losses in state elections for her party. An August 2011 poll found her coalition had only 36% support compared to a rival potential coalition's 51%. However, she scored well on her handling of the recent euro crisis and her approval rating reached an all-time high of 77% in February 2012 and again in July 2014. Merkel's approval rating dropped to 54% in October 2015, during the European migrant crisis, the lowest since 2011. According to a poll conducted after terror attacks in Germany Merkel's approval rating dropped to 47%. Half of Germans did not want her to serve a fourth term in office compared to 42% in favour. However, according to a poll taken in October 2016, her approval rating had been found to have risen again. 54% of Germans were found to be satisfied with work of Merkel as Chancellor. According to another poll taken in November 2016, 59% were to found to be in favour of a renewed Chancellor candidature of Merkel in 2017.
according to a poll carried out just days after the 2016 Berlin attack, in which it was asked which political leader Germans trust to solve their country's problems, 56% named Merkel, 39% Seehofer, 35% Gabriel, 32% Schultz, 25% Azdemir, 20% Wagenecht, 15% Lindner, and just 10% for Petri. A YouGov survey published in late December 2017 found that just 36% of all respondents want Merkel to stay at the helm until 2021, while half of those surveyed voters called for a change at the top before the end of the legislature. Merkel has been widely described as the de facto leader of the European Union throughout her tenure as Chancellor. Merkel has twice been named the world's second most powerful person following Vladimir Putin by Forbes magazine, the highest ranking ever achieved by a woman. On March 26, 2014, Merkel became the longest-serving incumbent head of government in the European Union. In December 2015, Merkel was named as Time magazine's Person of the Year with the magazine's cover declaring her to be the Chancellor of the Free World. In May 2016, Merkel was named the most powerful woman in the world for a record 12 time by Forbes. Following the election of Donald Trump to the U.S. presidency in November 2016, Merkel was described by the New York Times as the liberal West's last defender. Since 2016 she has been described by many commentators as the leader of the free world. Former U.S. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton described Merkel in 2017 as the most important leader in the free world. She is currently the senior G7 leader. In 1977 at the age of 23, Angela Kastner married physics student Ulrich Merkel and took his surname. The marriage ended in divorce in 1982. Her second and current husband is quantum chemist and professor Joachim Sauer, who has largely remained out of the media spotlight. They first met in 1981, became a couple later and married privately on December 30, 1998. She has no children, but Sauer has two adult sons from a previous marriage. Merkel is a fervent football fan and has been known to listen to games while in the Bundestag and to attend games of the national team in her official capacity. Merkel has a fear of dogs after being attacked by one in 1995. Vladimir Putin, in a move reminiscent of Germany's first chancellor, brought in his Labrador Retriever during a press conference in 2007. Putin claims he did not mean to scare her, though Merkel later observed, I understand why he has to do this to prove he's a man. He's afraid of his own weakness. Angela Merkel is a Lutheran member of the Evangelical Church in Berlin, Brandenburg and Silesian Upper Lusatia a united Protestant church body under the umbrella of the Evangelical Church in Germany. The EKBO is a church of the Prussian Union. Before the 2004 merger of the Evangelical Church in Berlin-Brandenburg and the Evangelical Church in Silesian Upper Lusatia, she belonged to the former. In 2012, Merkel said, regarding her faith, I am a member of the Evangelical Church. I believe in God and religion is also my constant companion, and has been for the whole of my life. We as Christians should above all not be afraid of standing up for our beliefs. She also publicly declared that Germany suffers not from too much Islam but too little Christianity. As a female politician from a center-right party who is also a scientist, Merkel has been compared by many in the English-language press to former British Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher. Some have referred to her as Iron Lady, 
Iron Girl, and even the Iron Frau, all alluding to Thatcher, whose nickname was the Iron Lady. Political commentators have debated the precise extent to which their agendas are similar. Later in her tenure, Merkel acquired the nickname Muddy, said by Der Spiegel to refer to an idealized mother figure from the 1950s and 1960s. She has also been called the Iron Chancellor, in reference to Otto von Bismarck. Stateside, both Donald Trump and business insider writer Josh Barrow have described Merkel as being similar to Hillary Clinton. In addition to being the first female German chancellor, the first to have grown up in the former East Germany, and the youngest German chancellor since the Second World War, Merkel is also the first born after World War II, and the first chancellor of the Federal Republic with a background in natural sciences. While she studied physics, her predecessors studied law, business, or history, among other professions. Merkel has been criticized for being personally present and involved at the M100 Media Award handover to Danish cartoonist Kurt Westergaard, who had triggered the Muhammad cartoons controversy. This happened at a time of fierce emotional debate in Germany over a book by the former Deutsche Bundesbank executive and finance senator of Berlin Thilo Sarrazin, which was critical of the Muslim immigration. At the same time she condemned a planned burning of Korans by a fundamental pastor in Florida. The Central Council of Muslims in Germany and the Left Party as well as the German Green Party criticized the action by the center-right Chancellor. The Frankfurter Allgemeine Zeitung newspaper wrote, This will probably be the most explosive moment of her chancellorship so far. Others have praised Merkel and called it a brave and bold move for the cause of freedom of speech. Merkel's position towards the negative statements by Thilo Sarrazin with regard to the integration problems with Arab and Turkish people in Germany has been critical throughout. According to her personal statements, Sarrazin's approach is totally unacceptable and counterproductive to the ongoing problems of integration. The term alternate flows which was frequently used by Angela Merkel to describe her measures addressing the European sovereign debt crisis, was named the unword of the year 2010 by a jury of linguistic scholars. The wording was criticized as undemocratic, as any discussion on Merkel's politics would thus be deemed unnecessary or undesirable. The expression is credited for the name of the political party Alternative for Germany which was founded in 2013. In July 2013, Merkel defended the surveillance practices of the National Security Agency, and described the United States as our truest ally throughout the decades. During a visit of U.S. President Barack Obama in Berlin, Merkel said on June 19, 2013 in the context of the 2013 mass surveillance disclosures, the Internet is uncharted territory for us all. This statement led to various Internet memes and online mockery of Merkel. Merkel compared the NSA to the Stasi when it became known that her mobile phone was tapped by that agency. In response, Susan Rice pledged that the U.S. will desist from spying on her personally, but said there would not be a no espionage agreement between the two countries. In July 2014 Merkel said trust between Germany and the United States could only be restored by talks between the two, and she would seek to have talks. She reiterated the U.S. remained Germany's most important ally. Her statement Islam is part of Germany during a state visit of the Turkish Prime Minister Ahmet Davutoglu in January 2015 induced criticism within her party. The parliamentary group leader Volker Kotter said that Islam is not part of Germany and that Muslims should deliberate on the question why so many violent people refer to the Koran. 
In October 2015, Horst Seehofer, Bavarian state premier and leader of CSU, the sister party of Merkel's CDU, criticized Merkel's policy of allowing in hundreds of thousands of migrants from the Middle East, we're now in a state of mind without rules, without system and without order because of a German decision. Seehofer attacked Merkel policies in sharp language, threatened to sue the government in the high court, and hinted that the CSU might topple Merkel. Many MPs of Merkel's CDU party also voices dissatisfaction with Merkel. Chancellor Merkel insisted that Germany has the economic strength to cope with the influx of migrants and reiterated that there is no legal maximum limit on the number of migrants Germany can take. At the conclusion of the May 2017 Group of 7S leaders in Sicily, Merkel criticized American efforts to renege on earlier commitments on climate change. According to Merkel, the discussions were difficult and marred by dissent. Here we have the situation where six members, or even seven if you want to add the EU, stand against one. Merkel features as a main character in two of the three plays that make up the Europeans trilogy by Paris-based UK playwright Nick Audi, Bruges and Tervuren. A character named Merkel, accompanied by a sidekick called Schauble, also appears as the sinister female henchman in Michael Parisco's S novel In Search of Sixpence. On the American sketch comedy Saturday Night Live, she has been parroted by Kate McKinnon since 2013. On the British sketch comedy Tracy Ullman's show, Comedian Tracy Ullman has parroted Merkel to international acclaim with German media dubbing her impersonation as the best spoof of Merkel in the world. In 2016, a documentary film Angela Merkel The Unexpected, a story about her unexpected rise to power from an East German physicist to the most powerful woman in the world was produced by Broadview TV and MDR in collaboration with Arte and Das Erste. 2009 election, second Merkel cabinet, 2010 presidential election, healthcare reform, energy wind, European debt crisis, single supervisory mechanism, Bundeswehr reform, 2012 presidential election, NSA surveillance. 2013 election, third Merkel cabinet, Crimean conflict, Normandy format, 41 STG7 summit, European migrant crisis, Wilkemen sculpture, 2017 presidential election, 2017 G20 Hamburg summit, 2017 election, fourth Merkel cabinet.